Hi there, in this video what I'm wanting to show you is how to do, uh, how to merge two photos quite quickly and easily. So I've got this photo and this photo. So let's see how we can merge them in GIMP. Let's open the photos. Okay, hold down control and click on both of the images and click open. And what you'll see is that there'll be one image here and then a second image down here. So, all we need to do is click on one image, press Control C, that will copy everything. Do you need to save it? No. Then click on the this image and press Control V. Now we've got the second image lying on top of it. Now we need to go over to the Layers palette and it will say Floating Selection. Right click on that and make that a new layer. Now we don't want this on completely on top of that previous image, so what we need to do is move it along to the side. But as you see, it's disappeared. So what we need to do is go up to Image, Fit Canvas to Layers. So now we've got this whole image on a layer, but you also notice that there's this kind of uh, checkered background. And as we don't really want that, we're going to have to make this image bigger. So go to the Scale tool, click on it, then drag up to the top and drag down to the bottom. Okay, so it's not going to be a perfect image, but uh, this is just quickly to show you how to do it. And then click on scale. Now, how do we get it so that it merges? Well, if you tried to do different layers, for example, screen, it's not going to work. If you tried soft light, it's not going to work. Multiply, not going to work. Dissolve. So, let's go back to normal. So what we need to do is actually make a layer mask. So make it full opacity, click add. And in this layer mask, we're going to add a blend tool. And this is going to be the gradient. So we click on that. And now let's go from here to there. And da-da! Now you've got an image that's blended together. Of course, you can make it bigger or smaller, so if I were to go like that, you see the blending comes all the way in, but then you start to see the checkeredness over here. If we're making it really small, like there today, it's quite a sharp difference. But I think going from maybe the elbow here to just where the line of the other elbow would have been, is pretty good. And then what to do is go to Flatten Image, and there you have it. There you've got an image of two pictures merged together. Save. Okay, hope that helps. Give it a go. Cheers. Bye.